Hey guys, today we'll be checking out Harbor Master for Windows Phone 7, which is the new Xbox Live game that just came out this week. And this is the main interface for the game. Going into options, you can control the music, sound effects, and the auto dot feature. And going into help will tell you how to play the game. So you basically just draw a path from the boats into the harbor and got a bit of credits about the developers in there as well. So let's quickly get into the game and you've got your achievements, this being an Xbox Live game and leaderboards for all the eight maps that are available within the game. And so you can pick any one of the map at any point of time. And let's go in order, start with Fishing Bay. So in each level, it'll tell you what you have to do and the difficulty and your current score and things like that. So in this, you just need to dock each ship or boat to the correct dock. So when a boat is coming in, it'll show you an arrow saying that where it is coming from. And the graphics for this game is really good. And the sound effects is nice as well. It's got this nice music going in the background as well. So once you lo unload your cargo, it'll turn into a grey boat, so your cargo will be taken off. And you can even fast forward the game so everything happens a bit faster. And you can pause it to bring it back to normal. And if your boats are close to each other, you'll see that there's a warning message that'll come up. And you got to avoid them hitting. Once they hit, it's game over. Now to the second map, we have Cyclone Island. So in this, cyclones will come up and if your boat is going into the dock, if it's near the cyclone, it'll turn away. So that's the cyclone that's forming there. So if you send a boat towards that direction, it'll just go here and there. So if you choose a path, say, into this dock, if it's near the cyclone, it'll automatically pull it to a different direction. So that didn't help my case. So let's... See? So it will just deviate from your path. And this is one of the biggest ships that you will see in the game. And and this is the third map where you've got different colored cargo that you have to take towards the correct boat. So the purple ships has to go in there and the yellow ones in here. If you try to send a yellow one in there, it wouldn't go in. So there's a purple one that has to be sent in there. Then we have Cannon Beach where you'll see pirate ships that will try to steal your cargo and you have to shoot them down using the cannon. So there's the cannon, you just aim and shoot. So it wouldn't hurt your ships. So that's the pirate ship. Now we have Smuggler's Reef and in here you'll see the same ship having two different colored cargo so you'll have to take it to both the colored ports. So it doesn't matter which order you take them in, you can take them in to the yellow one first. And then take it To the next one yeah. 
Now we'll be taking a look at Monster Co. Where you'll have an octopus that'll come up, you gotta tap on it, and that will scare that monster off. And you also have a fast unloading dock in this, so you can send your ship in there that will unload the cargo really quickly. And so that is the octopus that comes up, keep on tapping on it, and that will scare it away. And finally we have Cargo City where you got three different colored ports. So it's just like the other levels, you got to send the correct ship or boat into the correct port. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.